Oi pessoal, today I'm going to show you five words and phrases that you can incorporate to your Brazilian Portuguese that are going to make you sound a lot more natural and fluent. And if you are learning the language, you also want to grab the free download down below in the description box called 15 Ways to Improve Your Brazilian Portuguese. It's packed with ideas of how you can practice the language without even leaving the comfort of your home. So, without any further ado, let's start with our countdown of things you can start saying that are going to make you sound a lot more fluent. Número 5, então. It literally means so or then. And it's very common for Brazilians to use it as an opening, just before they start saying what they actually want to say, just like in English. For example, if you want to say, so, let's start. Então, vamos começar. Número 4, né. The contraction of não é, a question tag that it's added to any statement when you expect the answer to be yes. For example, essa camisa é muito bonita, né? This shirt is very nice, isn't it? Número 3, tá? The short version of está, in this case meaning ok. So, a way of asking someone to agree with you or to express agreement. For example, te vejo amanhã, tá? I'll see you tomorrow, ok? And the answer, tá, ok. Número 2 é que. It literally means is it that. And it's very common for Brazilians to insert a que after a question word, especially o que, what, and quando, when. Let's have a look at a question and how it changes when you add a que. Quando você vai para o Brasil? When are you going to Brazil? It's likely that Brazilians would actually say Quando é que você vai para o Brasil? Which could be translated as When is it that you're going to Brazil? And moving on to número um, a gente. It's extremely popular in colloquial conversation for Brazilians to use a gente, which literally means the people, as a replacement for nós, we. So, let's see an example. Nós vamos para o Brasil em dezembro. We are going to Brazil in December. That's perfectly fine. Nós, nós vamos. But Brazilians, it's very likely that they will say a gente vai para o Brasil em dezembro. It still, it means the same thing. We are going to Brazil in December. But instead of nós, they use a gente. Notice here that the conjugation of the verb is going to change. The verb here, the verb ir, which means to go, it's conjugated in the third person singular. Because gente is a singular noun. So, if you want to use a gente, great, you're going to sound a lot more fluent and natural. But just be careful with the conjugation of the verb. Always use the conjugation for the third person singular. The same conjugation as você, ele and ela. So if you try and incorporate as many of these as you can into your Brazilian Portuguese, you're going to sound a lot more fluent in day-to-day -day conversation. And if you're looking for other ideas to improve your Brazilian Portuguese, make sure you grab your free download, 15 Ways to Improve Your Brazilian Portuguese, which is down below in the description box. It's full of ideas that you can do on a daily basis to practice your Brazilian Portuguese. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you thought it was useful, please hit that like button down below. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. Muito obrigado and até a próxima. Tchau, tchau.